Whether you are playing in no trumps or a suit contract, you should always count your winners and your losers when the dummy comes down. Some people play and teach that you count winners in a suit contract, losers in a no trump contract. I think this is wrong. I'll explain why. You count your winners to ascertain how many extra tricks you need to generate. You count your losers where to be careful. and You would do the same in both. In a suit contract, you might need to dump losers. That's why you would count your losers. In a no trump contract, you might need to keep a player off lead. If you haven't considered your losers in a no contract, contract, you might not know which player to keep off lead. Let's have a look on a hand now in a suit contract. The contract is six hearts and the opponents lead the ten of diamonds. So you, when you see both hands conjoined, you can only do it when you, both hands are conjoined, count your winners. Definition of a winner are tricks you can make without losing the lead. Tricks you can make without doing any work at all. You don't need to do any work in spades and you've got four automatic winners. In hearts, you need to do some work. You've got to force out their ace of hearts. So you've got no winners in hearts yet. In diamonds, the only certain winner is the ace. And likewise, in clubs, the only certain winner is the ace and the king, two winners. So when you do a tally of winners, you've got seven winners. Therefore, you need to say, I've got to generate five tricks. Then you look at the heart suit and you say, oh, we've got marvelous trumps between us. Once I've forced out the ace, I've got five winners in hearts. So you've got your seven winners plus an easy five winners. Lovely, easy contract, 12 tricks. However, when you count the losers, you can be a little more optimistic. In the spade losers, we have none. Because after the fourth round, we can start trumping in in our own hand. The heart losers, just one. We'll just lose the ace of hearts and then the heart suit is all ours. Diamonds, we've only got one loser in diamonds because after the second round, we can trump in. in clubs, we've got no losers in clubs because after two rounds, we can trump in the north hand. Oh, we've got two losers. This easy hand seems we've got two losers. Good job we counted losers as well as winners. But we can't do anything about the ace of hearts. We have to leave the ace of trumps no matter what, unless the opponents revoke. We can do something about the ace of the king of diamonds loser. We could take a finesse at trick one, but that's a 50-50 shot when we can guarantee our contract by not taking a 50-50 shot, we're going to have to dump a diamond loser. When? If we dump it later, they'll take their king of diamonds when they get the ace of hearts. So we can't afford to let them in with the ace of hearts. We need to dump the diamond loser early. With this in mind, we will now win the first trick with the ace of diamonds and immediately play two rounds of spades before touching trumps. Watch and show you how, how the hand pans out. A diamond is led, you take that ace. You immediately play the ace of spades. You immediately play the king of spades and make your diamond problem go away. And now, only now, can you start drawing trumps. East gets in with the ace of hearts, tries to play the king of diamonds, and you can try. And now you've got no problem with the rest of the hand. All because you dumped your diamond loser early. You went up with the ace, played two rounds of spades, and you only know to do all this because you counted your winners and your losers 